Hello everybody, it's Slushy, and welcome to a little indie game called Incoherent. So let's get into it. I don't even know what it's about. I didn't read shit. She is dead. She is fucking dead. Is she now? Who is she? I guess we're gonna find out. Who, Mona Lisa? Kidding, it's not Mona Lisa. Oh, hey now. Oh! Okay. Uh, you could have put on a little bit of clothes before starting this. Jesus Christ, man. Could have put on a little something something. Do we have clothes on now? Thank you. YouTube will not like it very much if I did that, if I kept that. No need for the keys yet. Yeah, but I'm going to need them soon, so might as well just grab it now, right? Who has a picture of something like that in their room? Okay, am I supposed to drink? I'd rather not now. Can I go in here? Nope, there's the phone call from the therapist. I guess it's like it's like a waiting game. You gotta wait for things to be triggered. Dr. Calkins, I am on my way. Now we grab our keys. Can we go out this door, I assume? Okay, so we don't go out that door. We go out this door. Sweet! This is in room 16. Hello, child. Hello, sir. Why are you so tall? Why? What the hell is that? Thanks a lot for visiting me in the hotel. I understand this might not be usual practice, but I really needed to talk. I skipped that on accident. Can you tell me once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? After what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night I had the same nightmare about her and it was torture for me. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer, at least for now. I do have to worry about paying the rent and I can enjoy a hotel pizza. Kate, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talked about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? They are very real at times, but usually when I wake up, the nightmare does not end. I have this deep feeling, more like a voice telling me to do something. What does that voice tell you to do? God damn it, I, I keep accidentally clicking. What does the voice tell you to do, essentially? The voice tells me to kill someone. To kill? Who? Does the voice specify a person? A name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide? Kate, I need you to focus on this. I don't know, it just tells me to kill. I see my sister and she is so real, but there is something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see her, your sister in this room right now? Kate, Kate, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my head hurts. The medication's not helping at all. And I don't know what to do. I fucking don't know how to get her out of my head. God damn it. Kate, alright. I will try to do the medication technique you told me about. Thanks again for the talk. It means more than you can imagine. Looking forward to your next visit. Okay. I keep accidentally... I keep accidentally clicking it. Okay. Where's my room? like that. I'm guessing it. Oh, it's 03. What is that on the table? A note? Dear Miss Anderson, we hope this letter finds you well, and I want to extend our appreciation for choosing Velvet Vista Hotel for your recent stay. Unfortunately, it has come to our attention that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and our staff regarding loud banging noises and an unpleasant odor originating from your room. To ensure the comfort and tranquility of all of our guests, we kindly request that you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. If there is a specific issue or concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate to contact our front desk. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter. We look forward to the remainder of your stay at our hotel. Okay. Put the clothes in the closet. I'm tired. I should lay down. 
You got it, Chief. Who is knocking? Can't they leave me alone? Oh, this is the front door. It's weird that that's the front door. Who is knocking? Excuse me, hello? Oh god. Oh! Hello? Fuck. The lights. I should get my phone. Where am I exactly? A hospital? Can I get a soda? Water? Anything? Can I... What do you want me to do? Why the fuck did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here, but as usual, she has too many fucking problems to deal with. Unlike me, a drug addict who is trying to break free from all of this. What? That's not fair. So I'm guessing I'm supposed to be the drug addict. I'm a bad guy because I have mental issues. That's how it goes, usually. Okay, clearly I miss. Oh, there's a note here. Every day is the same loop. I go to the hospital, get some medication, try to be a better self. Yeah, but what is the point? My sister doesn't give a shit anyways. I might die tomorrow and she won't even remember. So it's a, cla it's a classic grab a note to proceed type deal. So we gotta look out for notes. My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value in broken things, but maybe if my sister is interested, maybe if she could pick up the phone and at least once be curious, all I can do is hope for the best. Bullshit phrase. You're kind of a mean person. You can't blame your sister for everything, you know? It's not your sister's fault for the reason why you're in this hospital. You can't blame her for everything, that's all I'm saying. What? Circumstances of admission. Patient is a single year old AA woman with bipolar disorder, alcohol and cannabis abuse, other uh, who is admitted in symptoms of depression, including la da la, voices telling her to hurt herself. She has done outpatient program. Change her life this time. Can I leave? Nope, I gotta walk to the other end of the hall. Of course. Oh, great. Fantastic. That's what I wanted to see. Some naked ass. Alright, disappear. I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. Shit, the battery died. Now what? I think we'll be fine. This computer's pretty bright. Do you feel it now? Do you feel guilty, you selfish bitch? You... You abandoned me. When I needed you, you made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back. Go back and end this. Yeah, man, I guess I can go back. Is that what you want? I'll go back. No problem for me. Oh. Okay. What is this? A gun. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, uh, God, I've been playing for so long. Okay. You know what? Let's let's go for the ending.
Yeah, we're not going to do the gun route this time. That didn't lead very well. There's got to be another ending. Yeah, I knew it. Oh god, is that our sister? Drug overdose! Hello! Isn't this our sister? Can I get in the tub with you? You want me to bathe with you? What do you want me to do here? Sister? Uh, sister? Sis? 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 Wait, are you telling me this is the only ending? my head off. So guys, that was Incoherence. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Very sad story, very sad story, very tragic. Of course, anything involving suicide or death, even overdose, even if it is self-inflicted. You know, I feel like a lot of people get themselves into drugs, whether it be for, you know, because they're trying to cope with something or because they just get into it because of a habit. Uh, it's a sad thing. So if you know somebody going through this kind of stuff, help them out before it gets to this point. Because it does get to this point quite often. Uh, something as crazy as just trying out a drug for the first time can literally lead to death. So just be mindful of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit like if you did. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.